Mm -mm. So on that note, let's go ahead and get started. We got a lot to do. We got a lot to do today, chat. We got a lot to do. No Hawaiian shirt today? Oh, one sec. I got to go get that. I got to go get um, a couple things real quick. So as we're starting up, we'll uh, do that. Actually, let me log in first. Do, because I don't want you guys to, I don't want to leave with this intro playing and have all of you get spoiled. That'd be the worst. Have you seen the new class for Dragon's Dogma 2? What? Wait, what do you mean new class? I thought they already had all the classes announced. Oh, wait, no, that's, wow, that's like two hours earlier. Please. Real Talk Co. Animated Kovatars when? Okay. So, animated Kovatars are coming. However, it is going to be a long time until they get here. An animation of custom avatars is, is very different than static. It's going to require a lot more work. And it's also going to require a bit of a, a few changes in how we're doing them. So the short answer is, funny enough, we had a meeting about this yesterday. And uh, Barry and Triwar are connecting this week to figure ah, out what we need good. to change slash do to make animation in the future possible. Because we, we have to enable it at the foundation level. And uh, once that's done, um, we'll start working on it. Probably later this year. Yep. What is this? Okay. Get him. Great. I'm with you. The Arisen changing class in the state of play, that's the new class. He can use other classes, weapons, and skills. Oh. Okay, that's kind of cool. That seems like super OP, but like why would anyone not play that class? So I'm sure there's got to be a downside or something, right? Dreadful bloody city man. I'll sue you. All right, let's go. It's time. Uh, hey, Ko, good morning. Are you really going to skip Persona 3 Reloaded? If so, then may I please know why? Because it's neither a spin-off nor a port. It's an actual main title major release, so I don't understand why you're skipping it. I'm sorry it's been asked before because it would really be a shame if you never experienced, in my opinion, the best Persona story in the series. Could you please reconsider about skipping it? Or at least... If not now, because of the hectic major game release schedule, at least. Okay, so here's here's the thing. Here's the thing. So it's kind of weird when I get messages like this because you say, because it's neither a spin-off nor a port. It's an actual main story title release. But then later in the same message, you say, in my opinion, it's the best Persona story in the series. So is it, a, is it something already, like, is it a new game or is it not a new game? Because that doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. I thought that it was like Persona 5 Royal, where it was basically just Persona 3 with like some extra content and brought into the current day and age. It's a remake. Okay. So he says it's neither a spin-off nor a port. Well, I mean, arguably a remake is a is a type of port. But no, I've never for the record, I've never played P3. Um I I was I'm under the assumption that Persona 3 Reloaded is a is a port slash remake. And I'm not interested in playing it right now. So you asked me twice in the message, like, can you can you give me a reason why you don't want to play it? Because I'm it's a huge game and I'm currently playing two huge games, and I just have no no urge at all to add a third huge game to my to my schedule right now. Um so I just again I I have no interest in doing that. None. Yeah. You want some more? No Dark Urge. Oh, I'm still playing Dark Urge. We're doing that this afternoon. There you go. Will this persuade you? Are you sure? 
gotta go with my gut here. Okay, you're on. Nice. Uh, Yoku, I'm creating a company that will rival Microsoft. It's called Macro Hard. Mountain Mama, happy two year anniversary. I'm glad I came across this amazing community. Good vibes and Coel. Well, thank you, buddy. Appreciate you guys. Still good to go. Whoa, really? See, I hadn't heard any of that. Can anyone else confirm that? Ooh, I see loot back there. Oh, I think there's a boss back here we never beat. Yeah, there he is. We never beat this guy, did we? What are you looking at? You gonna cry for mom? Show me what you Are you still playing Power World? No, I'm not. Okay, I'm up. Oh, yeah, I'm done with Power World for now. Something wrong? Beautiful. Ass kicking time. Ready when Chat, it's ass kicking time. <laughs> Come on. Open one. Drink up. You're gonna die. Kasuga is drunk. That's me later tonight. Sure, I'll play with you. Let's go. I'll play you on. I wish it said what class these were with. Got you now. What are Kovatars? Uh, check out the video I made explaining them. I won't it's in the Kovatar that. command. I can do this. Check out that video, and if you have any questions, just let me know. <laughs> Oh, man. Mm, one second. Um. Okay. I think I'm getting better at this. Did you have a Kovatar apocalypse? Oh, We're still working the kinks out of the system. Let me check Katie. Nope, okay. Does it say kitten net? No, it doesn't, Barry. Oh, hold on. That's it. That's it. Hold on. Let me, hold on, guys. Let me do a full reset of my Chrome. One sec, chat. Gotta fix up my stuff to get Barry's updates. Yeah, it looks like uh, I thought Kovatars are broken, but it wasn't on. Kovatars not broken. Back. It's my side didn't update properly. No, what Barry did was he pushed an update. I have a custom plugin that helps me work all this stuff with my with my Twitch chat, <laughs> and I have and I have two I'm Twitch chats that I keep open, and I updated one of them, but then I didn't update the other one. <laughs> so now it should be. There we go. That was my fault. All right, we're good. We're good. Is anything wrong? Barry says, please stop breaking my ish. No, you'd be out of a job if I did that, Barry. Should I open it? Got Half it. of your job is cleaning up after my stupidity, as we both know. So if I stop being stupid, I mean, come on now. <clears throat> okay. Hmm? Hmm. Well, you're in problem. Okay. Still working towards main story. Uh, let's go. It's a silver. We can probably do him. Let's go over here and then we'll choke up from there. Oh, that's right. I had $500,000 and then I spent it all. I just remembered. Whoops. Twinsies. 
such is legend. Except one is slightly taller than the other. Is she floating? What? Nope, she's just a little bit taller. <laughs> Not twinsies. Okay. Drinks later. Oh, hi. I was installing the accelerator under the surfer and it went a bit haywire. Perhaps I'm just exhausted. Totally. You can always stop by Dendoku Island for a change of pace. Thank you so much. Nice, dude. Oh, he's an A, too. Hell yeah, man. Hello! We're gonna have to go back to Dendoku and just, like, speed through a few days to get more money, eventually. I gotta say, I'm really surprised they didn't make it that you can skip time in Dendoku. That seems like the perfect place to do that. Uh, have some pineapple candy, bro. Maybe there's a way you can, and I just don't know about it. Austin, now, do I need to ha have a highlighted message to show off my Kovatar? So right now, the three ways that your Kovatar can get on screen is if I click your name in chat, which happens pretty regularly. Um, if you sub, resub, tip, or cheer, your Kovatar pops up in the notification. And then if I'm on this screen right here, and you happen to say something in chat and meet the, recommend or meet the requirements for it, your Kovatar will pop up next to your name. Also, we're going to be integrating it, uh, Kovatars into the Hello Queue in the morning. So we'll be uh, showing off Hello Queue stuff in the morning as well. And uh, yeah, we've got a lot of future fun plans for Kovatars. This is the very first iteration. This is the foundational stuff. Um, we want to get in animations. We want to get in uh, you being able to use them on your mobile app. Uh, we're actually considering making a chat client for mobile that shows oh, everyone's man. Kovatar who just talks in chat. So if you want to, you can log in on the phone and see all the Kovatars of other people in chat, like right next to their name. So we've got a lot of fun plans for it, but we're, we're still like making sure, the thing we're doing right now is we're making sure it works, we're making sure the system is solid, and most importantly, we're spending the time to like make sure it works for everyone on all browsers and it all looks the same and all that hey, kind of stuff. So. Me now. Yeah. It will take time, but we have many, many big plans. Uh -huh. yep. You guys ready for this? The Kovatar system has been Gentlemen, in development for a while. Europe. Time for a Sujimon battle! Game faces, everybody! Time to die! Yeah! Nicely done! So you're basically beta testing right now? Um Yeah, it's kinda like a it's kinda like a public beta, I'd say. Yep. I think you could use that terminology. Or as Barry would say, a public beta. As in, I'm gonna beta your face up. Yeah. Get ready, mm. chump. Time to die. Here. Nicely done. Go for broke now. I'm gonna break your face. <laughs> Oh, this is getting exciting. So what you're asking is, well fun, everybody. could the Kovatars be some kind of foundation so all of you can custom Whoa, make small I'm Kovatars so to use in a variety of mini games at a later date? Let's wrap up this victory. Well, that's a really interesting Spot. idea, isn't it? Hmm. Oh my god, that would be so much work. Yeah, man, I would have to have, like, a lot of money and drive to make new things and also have some connections to game develop. We're in full <clears throat> swing. Aloha. Hmm? If only. So hmm? Hmm? Let's see, the thing is though, if we did that, we would want to have like some kind of in-channel currency system so people would like bid against each other and then win in mini-games and... One day. One day. 
<laughs> Official Leska. Yes. That's that's the inevitable conclusion, of course. Yes. It all comes back to NFTs. <laughs> Meanwhile, if you play Mortal Kombat back in the day. Oh, Boomerang Briefs. What is this? Then you remember that guy that would pop out of the corner and say toasty? Like just, you know, like he would just kind of do like this thing? Like just out of nowhere? And see, that's what happens now when you, when you talk about NFTs. Whenever you talk about NFTs, Troy Baker pops up. Did someone say NFTs? Did someone say NFTs? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right. Man, I tell you, that's never going to die. Never. <clears throat> Where do you get that revolver? Which revolver? Oh, the guy in the guy's Kovatar? Drinks later. Uh, everything should be available to everyone right now. We are going to have earnable Kovatar cosmetics, but yeah, everyone's available. Everything is available to everyone right now. Yeah, let's check out those boomerang briefs. What are those? Oh. Oh. What? Someone else might have already had their fun with these. Critical hit rate by 2%. Oh, Dingy of Death, thank you, bud. I'll do that right now. 2%? Really? Ew. <laughs> I don't want to touch those. It's not worth 2%. Aloha. Arigatou gozaimashita. Awesome. That should do it for the upload. The video turned out really good, too. You sure know how to put on a show, Ichiban. You think you do this for a living. I don't know if I mention it, but despite my looks, I did run for an election once. <laughs> an election? For what? I mean, like, a real election. And this wasn't for student council or something? If they elected me, I would have been a politician. Seriously? Good grief, man. Is there anything you haven't done? Whoa, no way. We already got a DM. Wonder who from. What? Oh. Don't tell me it's from a... Just to catch everyone up. What's going on now is uh, Kasuga sure. and uh, Chitose put up a video on the internet of basically Kasuga, like, pleading in his heart for people to help him find his mother. So they just put this video on the internet and they're just seeing the reactions of people seeing it. They're trying to go viral, basically. Kane-san. Uh, nope. Some guy named Eiji. <clears throat> he wants to know if we can meet him somewhere. Eiji? Wait a sec. You mean Eichon? Uh, oh! So we got Eichon's attention at least. Tell me we knew we'd see him right? again. Uh, you know, the guy in the wheelchair who chased you off when we first met? Oh, him. Yeah, I remember. So, what's Henry, the plan? awesome. You want to meet up with him? That all right with you, Kiryu san? He's a buddy that helped me out my first day here. Knowing him, I'm sure he's just worried about me. Sure. We've got nothing pressing right now. Why not? Awesome, thanks! Okay, yeah, let's take him up on that. All right, I'll ask where's best for him. He said over by the Anaconda Shopping Center. That should be fine, yeah? Yeah, no problem. Uh, one second that, Isatar. Now, where's Akane-san? It's too bad we can't meet her this easily. Okay, so I'm doing my best not to talk over cutscenes. It's hard for me. Okay, so Yakuza 0... I don't think Yakuza 0 is called Gaiden. Oh, you're saying Yakuza 0 through Gaiden. Okay, <clears throat> so here's how it works. I would strongly recommend playing Yakuza 0 through Gaiden if you want the full experience of Yakuza. Swing. However, I fully understand I'm telling you that I recommend like 300 plus hours of video games before this one, and I understand that's not tenable or something a lot of people want to do. Fine, so what I will say is at the very least, 
I would strongly recommend playing Yakuza Like a Dragon, which is the first one with Kasuga, and then play this one. I don't really recommend starting with this one. You just simply lose out on, on too much, too much backstory, too many references. Like you can start with this one, but I do not recommend it. Is anything it. wrong? So I, I would say at least start with Like a Dragon. Yeah. <clears throat> and if you can, start from zero. We got a love link. Let's do that while we're here. Is it you? Ah, yeah, it is. Great. McCandle, thank you for the four months, bud. Appreciate hey, that, my dude. Am I bugging you, Chichon? Oh, nah, of course not. It's just... What's up? Well, uh, Gramps tried to get in touch with me just now, saying, I'm sure you're busy, but do you think we could still meet? Right, the butler who works for your family. Ever since I joined my you guys, my hair? I haven't yes. gone to visit him in a long time. Oh wait, did this work? He must be real worried about you, Chichan. Yeah, no kidding. You know what else he said? I believe Milady is hiding something from me. Uh oh. All I've told him was that I'm just enjoying my time abroad like a typical exchange student. I mean, you gotta hand it to the old man. His intuition's pretty sharp. <sighs> yep. My instructor's got to be the best of the best. Well, why don't you go visit him once? Just so he can see you're doing okay. But if I do, he'll probably figure me out. You said it yourself, he's pretty sharp. And if he picks up that something's off, he's gonna have to report it to my family. Basically, nothing good will come from me seeing Gramps right now. Why don't we just have him join us? Why don't we just have him join our party? If we laid it all out in the open for him, maybe he'll become our ally. Then we can ask him to keep this a secret from the Fujinomias. Yeah, no, I doubt that'll work out. <laughs> Gramps is really loyal. I mean, he's stuck by my dad for years. You sure you want to leave him hanging like this? Wouldn't he try to look for you himself? I think I'll be fine. He's old and only just started using a smartphone. He doesn't know anyone else in Hawaii, so he'd have a hard time trying to track me down on his own. But all that just means I'm free to do as I please now. He's reached a ripe old age. Actually, that doesn't make it any better, huh? In fact, he's probably even more lonely. He probably is, but I want to keep going like this just a bit longer. Why don't you try sending him something different from usual, then? Uh, I don't follow. You guys have only been sending texts, right? Maybe you could add a video or a picture. Change it up. Hmm. Okay, then what do you suggest? Could always send him a selfie. I could always send him a selfie with the two of us. Tell him that you're safe because you're with me. <clears throat> uh, that kind of sounds like I'm showing off my boyfriend. Huh? Did it come off that way? Didn't it? No? <laughs> Just me? Well, uh, even if you don't want to meet him, it probably couldn't hurt to show him at least something. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'll sleep on it. <laughs> it's kind of funny in a way. My parents never gave a shit about me. Gramps was the only one who cared. Well... Not all family are bound by blood, you know? Hearing you talk about your Gramps reminded me of that. I wasn't related to the man who raised me, Jiro Kasuga. He ran a soap land back in Kamrocho. But we definitely had that parent-child bond, you know? At least, I thought so. Ichiban. If there's even just one person out there who gave a shit about you, then wouldn't that make them family? Yeah, guess so. Thanks, Ichiban. What hey, Maku. I don't know if Grams considers me family, but he's definitely important to me. Time out. I just, I, I had to pause. Um, what? They canceled the Elden Tree DLC for Elden Ring? Uh, 
Oh. I see. Dear players, we regret to inform you that we have decided to cancel the development and release of Shadow of the Erd Tree DLC for Elden Ring. We understand this news may disappoint many of you who were eagerly awaiting the continuation of the adventures in the lands between, and we apologize for any convenience. Miyazaki-san accidentally spilled a can of beer on the only laptop that stored all the data and assets for the DLC. We cannot find another solution to this problem except for canceling development. <clears throat> You know, I'm not the brightest bulb in the screwdriver set, but something leads me to believe this might not be accurate. Um, is it April 1st? No. That kind of came out of nowhere. <laughs> it does deserve more than a wall of text, though. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll give him a call. Thank you for that, Norgles. Thank you. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. Your suggestion's not so bad either. I think I will send him something a bit more real. Glad to hear it. That alone makes this all worthwhile. Thanks for the life lesson today. I love the drink links, dude. Hey, combo skills. Great. Great, great, great. Oh, another one. Made a lot of progress since we've been in here. Looks like she's on the phone. Yo, Chichan. Something the matter? Oh, hey. Um, did you hear everything? Nah, didn't hear a thing. Oh, okay. Well, I was on the phone with Gramps, and apparently he heard a pretty disturbing rumor. Don't tell me it was about you. Yep. It's kind of old news now, but word got out that I got into District 5 by stealing someone's passport. I guess it's not so much a rumor, you know, since it's true. Someone's passport, you say? You mean mine? It doesn't really matter whose... Anyway, he heard about how I was looking for the Barracuda's hideout. But that stuff's all water under the bridge now. Can't you just tell him it was someone else? I did. But Gramps is still distraught because the young lady in the rumor sounds just like me. And now, he won't believe a single word I say. Wait, hold up. How did your Gramps even hear about these rumors? I thought he didn't know anyone here in Hawaii. <clears throat> I probably underestimated him on that front. He's so polite. He can strike up a conversation with just about anyone. Before I knew it, he made himself a friend. Said Jeff told him all about the rumors. Wait, Jeff? Jeff? Oh, oh no! Oh, God, Jeff? The one selling the asshole! Goods? Yep, the very same. Grams loved his tacos so much, he's been getting them for lunch. Even though he knows that Jeff is kind of shady, he still enjoys talking to him. Well, damn, a former martial artist, a Fujinomi, a butler, and a smooth talker at his age. I honestly didn't see this coming. Gramps is actually driving me into a corner. Should we do something about it? Stop him from cornering you? <laughs> uh... I feel like if we try to pull one over on him, we might slip up somewhere. I uh, guess we'll just have to wait and see then. Well, I doubt he's gonna find me anytime soon, so I'm trying not to panic right now. Huh? Wait a sec. Are you worried he'll wind up in danger somehow? What do you mean? I mean, your Grams heard that you went to District 5, right? But since you're not fessing up, what do you think he'll do next? I don't know. He might go try to save her. I'd make my way to District 5 so I could get to the bottom of this. What? And once I got my hands on some proof, I'd ask you to tell me the truth. But, but there's no way Grams could just wander into a place like that. You've got to steal a passport or find some dirty cop willing to get you in. Right. But your Gramps wouldn't know about any of that. 
He's just gonna try his damnedest to trace your steps. And if there's some barracudas hanging around, I don't know if you'll come out entirely unscathed. Yeah, for sure. <sighs> well, crap. I better try calling him back. I have to tell him that if he's thinking about heading to District 5, don't. We're gonna have to go save this guy, aren't we? Yeah, let's do this one. <clears throat> Probably best to keep an eye on him right now. Uh, it'd be pretty hard to do that 24-7, though. We just went from yeah, gentle no to kidding. empathetic. <laughs> God, at this rate, I don't even know who's watching over who. I feel you. I do feel bad about making Cramps worry so much, though. <laughs> Sounding real inspiring today, Chi-Chan. <laughs> Maybe because I am. Never thought there'd be a day where I'm the one worrying about him. <laughs> All of that just made me realize how much time has passed. <laughs> you better remember this feeling. Because in times like this, a good drink really hits the spot. <laughs> Didn't know that. Guess I'll have to give it a try. For sure. Awesome. Her knockback chain attacks are now stronger. Great. Do we have another one with her? Oh, no, I don't, but, um... Thanks. Yeah, we just randomly get more stuff by doing that. Okay, we're done with her. Oh, we got one with this, with this guy. Let's go. 